What's up, no coders? Zaz here. When it comes to billing, one thing that's always relevant and we see often are payment plans. We use them to buy phones and electronics and sometimes even clothes now. But more recently, something that I've been seeing a lot of are payment plans for online courses and digital services. So let's say you have a digital service or an online course that is worth a lot in value and you know you've priced it right. But you also know that there's a percentage of your customer base who are not going to be able to afford that upfront. What do you do? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage the power of Stripe, Webflow, and Billflow to build a functional pricing page with a built-in checkout form so that your customers can have the option to either pay you upfront or pay you in installments. Today's example is fully inspired by the Futures Business Bootcamp enrollment page. Now, this is my version that I've built in Webflow. I will be providing a link to the clonable version in the description box below. As you can see, this is a pricing embed that's powered by Billflow with a checkout form. We also have a customer portal so that our users who are paying $999 per month are able to go in and manage their subscription or view their invoices. I've talked enough. Let's jump into it. Okay, so as we can see, there's two different plans. You can either pay up front uh, the $4,995, or you can enroll in a five-month payment plan of like nine, $999 per month. Now let's go to products, and let's add a product. It's going to be a one-time payment of $4,995. Add additional options, add some metadata, SB underscore service. We're gonna call this feature. Maybe SB underscore tier. We're gonna call that upfront. And we are good to go. Save and add one more. Actually, let's here. We'll say need a payment plan, enroll now, blah, blah, blah. Paste that. Actually, let's set our price. So it's gonna be recurring on a monthly basis for $999 a month. And then from here, let's go ahead and add our metadata tag. So we're gonna have our overarching service tag, which we called Future. Let's keep that consistent. And then we have an SB underscore tier tag called payment plan. And then we're going to have one more metadata tag here, which is going to determine how many months this payment plan is going to go for. Now we said five. So we have to add SB underscore plan iterations and we just put a number five in there save the product now let's go into bill flow let's log in create a new pricing page go down we have two products in future as we can see Pricing settings, we have a payment plan and an upfront plan, which is a one-time fee. Let's go ahead and add the product description and <clears throat> we're gonna say feature pricing plan. Let's change this to V3 actually, so that we can get all the bells and whistles. We don't have any intervals. This looks fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Go to my checkout settings. 
You can add custom fields if you'd like that would um, allow you to grab data and store it in the customer accounts in Stripe. And here we are going to say require card on sign up, name on card, we don't need any shipping addresses, and maybe you have terms and conditions you want to add. I want to enable coupons in case I have any promotions. If you want to calculate taxes, you can do that here. And from there, we're really set to go. So I'm just going to save this. I'll design it to match um, the feature styling later. From here, all I really want to do is select HTML code, copy this code, and go into my Webflow account. We're going to add an embed block. We're going to paste our code, save and close, and let's publish. Now let's go check it out. I'm going to enroll. Awesome. So now we can see that this actually shows up and it, it is functional. I just want to style this to match the visual design of the rest of the site. Okay, so now that we have our business bootcamp enrollment page up and running um, and our users can go in and select a plan to purchase, the only thing that's left for us to do is to create a customer portal page for the customers who sign up for the payment plan. So let's do that now. Um, this is going to be pretty straightforward, actually. So we've saved our pricing plan. Let's go back to our dashboard. Select Customer Portal. Name it. Let's update to V3. So from here, we're going to configure our Customer Portal. We don't need any of these above um, options. Maybe we'll include Enable Coupon. We want to show all customer invoices. We don't want any drop downs and we actually don't want to enable cancellations. And we are ready for our authentication settings. Now from here, we're gonna enable email auth. And now what this is gonna do is it's going to allow our paying customers to go in and view their account straight from our Webflow website with a click of a magic link. So here we're gonna say, from the future and our redirect URL, it's going to be the page that we're gonna copy the embed code into. In our case, it's this billing page, which I still have to design, but that's okay. Paste that in, company logo. Let's actually grab that from Webflow. And that's it, we are ready to embed this into our site. So let's save this. Select HTML embed code, copy this code, and just paste your script right there, save and close. And just add a footer as well. Awesome, let's publish this. So now from here, your users will enter their email, receive a link, and access their portal. From here, let's just test out the entire flow to make sure that it's working properly. Enroll in the monthly plan. Pay. <clears throat> And now we get to sign in to make sure that it actually went through. Submit. Awesome, I have an email from the future to access my billing page. Let's access the portal. And, and voila, our portal is working. As you can see, 
I'm paying $999 a month, which started May 11th. Um, my next payment is June 11th, and I can stop paying this upcoming October once my five months are up. And from here, I can add a coupon, update my credit card, or download invoices. And there you have it, you guys. It's literally that easy to start getting paid while also keeping your customers happy. If you have any questions about anything that was mentioned in this video, please comment below or shoot me a DM on Twitter at Zazdara. That's Z-A-Z-D-A-R-A. And you know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.